Sure. <laughs> Lance cares. Why did it make you? Uh, why did it make you like feel good? Oh, uh, we were just yeah, have fun talking, drinking yeah. wine, and beer, and just yeah, affirming life. She's kind of whimsical. She's got a whimsical look on her face. Um, and she, she seems happy enough to be there. Uh, she's wearing a polka dot dress. Uh, something you might see in the 1940s. Where? We don't know. Uh, and she's uh, also she's wearing uh, some kind of a uh, slipper heel. Uh, that's kind of a, a hybrid shoe. And very comfortable and very stylish. Uh, and she almost looks like she's longing. She's, she's, uh, she's feeling the wind and uh, trying to, to really uh, capture the essence of life at this moment. Oh, Francis. I knew you'd be here. <laughs> <laughs> On this bridge, in the middle of a stony brook. This is where I like to run, yeah? What's <laughs> <laughs> up, Charlene? Uh, what, uh, what brings you here this time of day? Well, I thought that would be obvious, considering, um, you're here. Do you remember me? Uh, clearly I remember your name, so, uh... Do you remember uh, this dress? <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. Well, I remember it. Uh, last Friday, right? Yes! Is it mixer? Yes! Yeah. We talked for a good like ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Without like any <laughs> Like there were no like moments where I felt like I really wanted to check my phone. I was just turning on my music. I it's okay. it's, Oh my god, I said the same thing the last time we talked. I know. Oh now oh tequila shots. Uh fireball. Oh, is it a couch involved? Someone's dog? What was the dog doing there? <laughs> I don't remember a lot you, from the party. I remember your name, and I remember the dress. Do you remember what you said to me? You know, I'm generally like pretty shallow and self-absorbed. So <laughs> I try to remember what I say and just kind of move through life like it's That's coming out okay. of the darkness. I can compensate that for you. <laughs> you sure you want to do this? Yeah, this is why I wear polka dot dresses. And, and <laughs> Stand on bridges, <laughs> hoping that this is the time of day that you go for runs. This is why I run at this time of day. Here, since 9 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> 6 p.m. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Dreaming. <laughs> Francis, I haven't had one moment where I thought about something different than our conversation, and I just wanted to let you know that. that you had a really big impact on me, and in fact, I, well, I thought maybe we could be something together. I think maybe become one. Is that a wedding ring? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what is this? What is this? Is this some like broken marriage shit? Because I'm not doing that. Again. No, no. <laughs> it's like a, a promise to be married. A promise. Do you want me to promise to wait? Wait, is that a promise ring? Are you asking for me to promise to you that I'm gonna. Are you giving me your ring? <laughs> what are you doing? What you to me? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Just 
catching the reflection of uh, uh, the bridge across the way. There's a father and a son that are standing on that bridge. The father and the son, uh, they're not looking at each other. They're standing up on the edge. They're looking over, and the son is holding a piece of bread. Uh, he's holding this bread. He's tearing off piece by piece. His dad is explaining something to him. He's not exactly sure why he's throwing bread into the water, but he loves that the bread is disappearing in the water. Uh, and dad is totally oblivious to what's happening. Uh, the son comes here every day with his father uh, and is told to do this. Uh, and it's starting to kind of get frustrated because he just really wants to play soccer. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's why I tell your mother, you know, I've never... I'm never going to go to bed with her if she doesn't stop running away from me and finding other people to bring into a relationship. So, uh, that's it, Billy. Just keep on throwing. It's oh, right. Jesus. It's great job. It just disappears like it's never there. Yeah, uh, well, that's going to be fish. Fish are swallowing the bread and eating it. Anyway, so your mother's a whore. <laughs> and I know you don't understand what that means yet. That's why I'm telling you this. You're at that age where you're just kind of taking everything like it's coming out of the darkness, and you're just letting it go. And it, so, you know, when you get older, you might call that arrogance. But now, now, really, it's, uh, it's really helping you help me, which I think is a solid father-son relationship. I save so much money on a therapist. It's insane. I, just, I don't have to actually go downtown. I don't even have to leave the house. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Do you feel like you're disappearing? <laughs> Have you been listening to me this whole time? <laughs> Is this a... Uh... I'm like, I'm like 12. I know. I'm understand <laughs> words. <laughs> and you talk a lot. Mm -hmm. And you talk a lot about mom. I guess and I was thinking as I was staring at the bread that, that maybe you're kind of like the bread. <laughs> that like, like, yeah, you're like white. Fluffy <laughs> and, and like like I kinda like you know, people wanna eat white bread, but then the moment they do, they're like, oh <laughs> <laughs> just, just white bread. <laughs> and maybe so maybe like you have a lot of anger towards mom, but maybe she just doesn't want white bread. <laughs> <laughs>
like weird chemicals in my brain that are like making it hard for me to not think about all the things I want to do to you. I just can't. It's like it's almost painful. But I can't stop smiling. What is it? Strawberry. Oh. Ooh. It's so juicy and wonderful. It's a, I know. Oh my god. Oh, the food tastes better now. <laughs> yeah. All the no. food you've been feeding me all day. I wonder if that has something to do with the fact that I've got this bout of euphoria that I can't seem to get out of. It's I know, so but like, I don't ever want it to end. Like,
That's well, already... Are you going to do that? No, I'm not going to do that. To then that. don't bring it up. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Hey, uh, you, ever, you ever have a problem uh, with itches? You ever get an itch sometimes? I mean, sometimes when I'm flying these things, I just get these scratches, and it's kind of a, it's, you know, it's a problem. I spend so much time in the air, and uh, I can't scratch it. If I let my hand off the joystick, you know, we die. Uh, and it's, it's really Look, challenging. I don't want to talk to you. Just shut up. Sure, yeah, sorry, sorry, sir. Sorry. Got an important thing to do. Fair enough, fair enough. No, like, I don't think you know how important this thing is. Hey, I thought you said you didn't want to talk to me. <laughs> I don't. Let's just sit in silence then for a long time. We can be comfortable for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, you have no idea what I've been through. I'm kind of beyond the point of caring about you at this point. I just I did a minute ago, and now, you know, didn't want to talk about yourself or me or. <laughs> <laughs> kind of crawled there, didn't you? <laughs> this helicopter is very interesting. Well, I don't make these things, you know, I just fly them. I just, uh, it's just my job Look, to make sure they get where they go. This here can change history. What's inside this briefcase? Do you understand? Uh, you know, they give me a lot of options. <laughs> a whole lot of options. It could be, is it a, I, don't, I, I don't want to say it's a bomb, but that's the first thing that comes to mind. It's like, you see a briefcase of a guy that looks like you, you're well, kind of a be. dick. He's like, it's got to be a bomb. It could be a bomb. Oh, mm -hmm. It could be. What else? What else could it be? Hmm? It could be. It could be important documents that can change government. It's kind of in the digital age nowadays. I don't think documents <laughs> would ever be carried in a briefcase nor would have any effect on anything. I think Stoven proved that it, a mission is... It could be a supercomputer. Supercomputers tend to be pretty small, tend to be little things, you know? Like, my phone is a hell of a lot smaller than that ring. It's probably got more in it than, than that actually has material in it. I'm just saying, you're, you know, you kind of give off this esteem like you're, a, like you're in control, uh, but you really just kind of come off like a prick, you know? <laughs> I just kind of, you know, we've been in here for three and a half hours already. This is the first time you've really said anything. The fact that you're this close to me. Well, it's unsettling, because like I said, I itch. I also tend to smell my own breath sometimes. <laughs> you ever have coffee in the morning, you drink too much coffee, and then it just kind of lingers, and you're like, is that me, or is that someone else? Uh, you haven't been in meetings all day, so what can you do? Uh, I'm really just kind of uncomfortable right now that you might be smelling the breath that I've been smelling all day, and I'm fairly certain it's mine, and now you've got to deal with it. Gives you even more reason to hate me, and I'm kind of coming across uh, really strong here. It's like, that you're a jerk, so that's really problematic from my point of view. Just saying. You <laughs> have that water over there? <laughs> to be honest, you're the only person who has really paid attention to me since I started this mission. Well, this is a mission, now. It's always been a mission! <laughs> you work for the church? <laughs> I, uh, I was part of the church for a while. Um, and I went, uh, went to Ecuador, tried to help people there. Uh, they just kept on wanting to get us drunk. And, uh, you know, we decided just to bless all of it and say, hey, why the hell not? We're going to drink <coughs> tie all day. Uh, we went, uh, granted, it was a tourist mission. We, were, we didn't go to the indigenous folks. We were tourists now. They were trying to save them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it did. And now they've got a bar. they got a bar, Our, our Lady of uh, Perpetual Stumble. They're going to kill me. <laughs> they're going to kill me. Who's going to kill them? I'm delivering this package, this briefcase. And I know they're going to kill me afterwards. The moment I deliver it, they're, they're just going to... The moment you deliver it? I mean, you know, just saying, if there's... you got a handcuff on there. So if I killed you the moment that you delivered it, I'd have to cut your hand up or something. They I have to do cut that. Right. They oh, would do that. Jesus Christ. You don't understand these people I'm working for. It's not the church. <laughs> No, I don't. No, I don't. Uh, what are you gonna do about it? That's why I've been sitting back there thinking about what I'm gonna do. Oh, I, I don't want to die. I didn't sign up for this. I was just like, I want to do some good. I want to.
being part of something powerful, this organization that the divine name, I'm sure someone will come out of the sky right now and kill me. <laughs> like, no matter what I do, I'm just dead. You know? Have you ever felt that way? Every time I get in this job. <laughs> <laughs> so now, it's like if I don't go there, they're going to find me and kill me. And if I go there, then they're going to kill me. I just need to disappear in ways that... Well, considering, um, you know, considering that this is probably one of the last conversations you ever have. <laughs> I mean, considering that, uh, that I'm here with you and we've kind of struck up this conversation now and there's some type of something happening. You know, so, uh, I just wanted to say that if you really wanted, uh, uh, I, I could tell you, um, I could tell you where you could go uh, to get some, some help for talking to people a little nicer. Uh, but uh, it's not going to do you any good because you're going to die, so, uh... I don't need help talking to people. I need help to live. <laughs> you ever sat in your pants so long that it's so wet you're not sure if it's sweat or sat? <laughs> you just got me up already. Let's take that punishment. Oh, uh, here's the turn. That was an opportunity. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I guess I missed that. <laughs> In reflection of uh, the pilot's uh, sunglasses, uh, we can see uh, uh, it's reflecting a park. Uh, and in that park, uh, there's a bridge. On the bridge, we have a young woman who's standing, and it looks like she's been proposed to uh, by a man uh, who's wearing a running outfit. <laughs> I. <laughs> Do you mind if I keep this? There's something I kind of want to give it to you. I'll see you later! <laughs> 